Prime Minister Pankamvi Pawan on Thursday presented drafts of the two national agendas which are designed to address the country's economic difficulties and drug trafficking to the National Assembly for consideration and endorsement. <laughs> During debate at the National Assembly session, which opened on Thursday, the 5th of August, Prime Minister Pan Kam told lawmakers that implementation of these agendas would not just be based mainly on principles, which only secures party leadership and constitution and law compliance, as in the past. He said to ensure a fruitful outcome and the effectiveness of the proposed national agenda implementation, decisive, transparent and professionalism working principles must be applied. Prime Minister Pan Kamwi Pawan told National Assembly members that to implement the national agenda apart from adhering to party leadership, principles and rules in accordance with the law, we must focus on specific working principles such as the decisive principle and transparent and professionalism principles. <laughs> According to the Premier, the decisive principle refers to party committees at the central and local levels, being united and recognizing economic difficulties and drug trafficking as serious problems and a threat to national stability and development, as well as the need to resolve those development barriers. For the transparent working principle, the Premier believes people must be able to take part in policy implementation and monitor and express sincere views on policy improvement so that the government can use these as a reference when making policy amendments and ensuring their effective implementation. <laughs> In relations to the professional working principle, the Premier acknowledged the fact addressing economic difficulties and drug trafficking requires the application of knowledge and expertise and must be based on a scientific approach. Technical staff need to analyze, plan and provide sound advice to the government and decision makers and authorities so they can impose sound public policy which will secure sustainable development in Laos. Interpreting what the Premier said, the introduction of the additional public policy development and implementation principles can be viewed as a new turning point in the reform of public administration. Traditionally, most public policy design development and implementation has been based on political cadres who perceive themselves to be the only change makers in the development of Laos. Sopakson Silapit and the Lao National Television English News Team reports at the National Assembly.